Tonight on The Prophet. Are you guys hungry? Yes. A veteran caterer has been feeding Chicagoland for almost 20 years. I got hamburgers, I got turkey burgers, hot dogs, and brats. But all of a sudden, he's starving for business. It's been rough these last four months. You're down almost 30%. Yeah. A steep drop in sales has sent his anxiety through the roof, causing him to lash out. Mike, you got to work faster, man. There's so much criticism and no praise. And as their paychecks get smaller and their patience grows thinner, his employees are on the verge of a revolt. There could be a little bit of a mutiny going on within Honest Foods. If I can't help breathe new life into the company. Can I use your oven? Use the bottom one, all right? And help the team fix their dysfunction. It's grand chaos going on down there. This caterer will be cooked. Maybe I'm not getting treated right. How? Because I'm asking you and challenging you? Hi. You. How are you? I'm Marcus. Ronnie. Marcus. Ronnie, nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. I'm Jennifer. Jennifer, nice, nice to, meet, nice you. to meet you. Welcome. Tad, nice to meet you. Tad, nice to meet you. We're getting ready for lunch. Is corporate events primarily what you do? Most of our work is film production, about 80%. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I'm just going to take a step back and okay. kind of watch we'll the process. Set up. Welcome. Are you guys hungry? Yes. yes. Don't forget, save room for dessert. Yeah, yeah. I saw the chocolate cake right. over here. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. The food, by the way, it's spectacular. Thank you. It's really good. Thank you. How many years have you been cooking? 20. And what prompted you to start it? I ended up catering my sister's wedding because she was broke and asked me for a favor. My dad thought the food was fantastic. He said, you should start your own catering company. He gave me a thousand. A thousand dollars? A thousand dollars. My grandmother gave me a thousand dollars and I had a thousand dollars. And how much total business were you doing? Uh, last year, we did 1.3. OK. Food was Amazing. Thank you. OK? All right. I'll see you back I'll at the office. You. OK, thank you. This is it. This is our place. Some days we do about 500 meals out here a day. You do. So is your business down year over year right now? Oh, yeah. How much? We are down, I'd say, at least 30%. Tad says he doesn't know why his numbers are down. But honestly, I think I have a pretty good idea. His customer base isn't diverse enough. Tad. Yeah. Lauren just called. She needs her order bumped up by 30 minutes. You got to be kidding me. No. All right, tell her what you need to tell her. We'll just do what we can do to get it taken care of. All right. Mikey, okay. throw this downstairs, all right? It's garbage. I got the meatballs in there. Yes, sir. Pasta. Come on, boil! Mikey, you got to work faster, man. You got to get this stuff Ted, going. Can I use clean. your oven? Use the bottom one, all right? Just leave the top one open. I'll get it figured out. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. It's almost like a switch just got flipped. Calm, normal, and then explosive. From my perspective, you have two issues here. A high concentration of business in one category, and from a process standpoint, what you need help in is how to be a better manager. I'd like to make an offer. OK. OK? I'd like to offer $300,000 for 33% of the business. $300,000 would go into the account, and it would make sure that all the bills are paid off. We're investing in diversifying the business, but I'm 100% in charge. We have a deal? We have a deal. Thank you, Marcus. You got it. What I'd like to do is have you think about potentially getting in the food truck business. Food trucks? Yeah. I want to try to come up with a more predictive revenue model. We do catering. But you have all the dry goods, all the machinery, all the storage, all the folks for prep. You have all the assets that are needed. OK. It's almost time for our event at Libertyville Chevrolet. Good morning, Marcus. How are you? Well, I'm anxious to see what our presentation and our food look like. I also want to see if Tad can act like a leader. No. I'm thinking, here, do this. Mike, you don't know how to do that. No, the, I said all the onions are in what? No such luck. Ronnie? Let's not talk to Ronnie right now. For real. I'm in charge right now of this event. I'm trying to learn respect, and I want everyone else down the path to learn respect, all right? I'm, I'm aggravated. I, like, I, I'm, I, I'm I know super you are. Okay, you're pissed off, and it's throwing me against a wall. Seriously, I don't mean to be rude, but you can take that and shove it off your ass. Thank I you. think what I'd like to do right now is have you let the employees do their job and let them learn how to work together. Okay. Let them learn how to solve problems on their own. Okay. It's either going to happen or it's not. Ricky, I want you to be in charge of the food. I want Ronnie to be in charge of her dessert, 
Jim and Andy, I need you guys to work together to make sure the customers are taken care of. Don't be shy. Come on in, it's open. Come on and eat. And once Tad backed off and let them do their jobs, Ronnie, Vince, and the rest of the crew were like a well-oiled machine. Looks nice. Take Tad out of the equation, oh. everything sort of calms down. Always. Amen. That's how you run a business. Marcus? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. Where you at? I'm at the front of the store. Well, this is perfect timing. You want to show you something? Yeah, buddy. We're in the food truck business. What do you think? There could be a little bit of a mutiny going on with Honest Foods. Guys, I want to maybe go inside and go over some ideas that you have. Are people unhappy? Because you said mutiny, and mutiny to me is like people are unhappy and they want to leave. They are dissatisfied. There hasn't been many discussions or anything about what is actually happening. I didn't know they bought a food truck. You didn't know they bought a food truck? No, I just found out right this second. So you decided to not tell people that we bought a food truck. I wanted people to know because I wanted people to be excited. So that's why maybe everybody did woohoo when we saw the truck. Yeah. Look, I don't think Tad kept the food trucks from his team on purpose. I don't believe he operates with malice. He's just so hung up with what's going on inside of his own head and so anxious that he just didn't think about anybody else. It's the same exact problem that causes him to panic and look over their shoulders. The purpose of the food trucks was to take away some of the unpredictability. If the food truck goes out and sells a bunch of stuff, everybody gets an extra check on top of their wage. We're going to get the pay right for everybody on a per hour basis. Sweet. <laughs> OK. Pinky promise yes, me? Yes, but then you got to stop bitching. <laughs> Deal. Now that we have both food trucks, I've asked the maintenance team at Camping World to prep them for artwork. How's this one look? It's a little rough. Oil cooler lines. OK. Inch and serpentine belts cracked real bad. OK. OK. Right rear caliper, right rear brake hose. Both outer tie rods have play in them. The steering dampener is weak. OK. OK. Quite a bit. What do you think it's going to cost? Conservative, I'm going to say you're probably 4500 did you take it to a service center before you gave them the money? No. Why, why does that happen? Why, in one sense, are you in the weeds, in everybody's business, in everybody's questioning everything they're doing, but on something like this, you gloss over the detail? How does that happen? I happen to love this truck, and I'm asking for help in areas, and I don't feel like I'm getting it. Well, what help would you like? You want me to make sure that there's a place for you to get an inspection before no, you buy it? Yeah, I did. You know what? Give I me, did. Give me a break on this damn truck, OK? Because I drove all night. Maybe I'm not getting treated right. How? Because I'm asking you and challenging you? Yeah. You don't like it when you people challenge you? No, I don't, I don't like it. you. I need this I'm so tired and spent. I know you're tired. It's part of being a business owner, and you know that. That's the choice you make when you own a business. You think I'm picking on you. I'm not. But I will tell you that now you know how your people feel. If you really genuinely don't change, everybody at some point will walk out, and you'll lose your business, and I'll lose my money, and they'll be gone. I want to tell everyone how excited I am for a new Honest Foods. I want to apologize, and I want to take responsibility for things that I've done in the past. And I want you guys to help in making this company great. And I just want to say thanks for being here. Yay! I really appreciate you guys sticking close by. <laughs> All right. Look, I really feel like Tad is turning a yeah, corner. Since our last talk, he's communicating better, he's working well with others, and I'm very optimistic. It's Camping World and Good Sam's 50th birthday party, and I'm excited. How's the truck work? The truck is awesome. Grilled cheese from? The big cheese. The big cheese. All right. You're the big cheese. The food trucks turned out great. And now with the ability to go mobile, Honest Food should be busy all year long. Folks, can you hear me in the back? Folks, can we have your attention, please? I want to have a round of applause for the Honest Foods team who did an amazing job preparing our meal today. I expect Honest Foods to become the go-to catering company for all of Chicago. 
First of all, I don't know if I've seen a group work harder. When we first started this process, we wanted to try to find a way to give everybody raises. And we believe we're at the point where everybody's gonna be able to get a nice raise. Yeah. yeah. You too. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I think this is a great opportunity for me to grow as a person, but to grow as a boss and a manager and grow as a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.